guys, it's Natasha again. I've got some uh, videos for you about some diamond paintings uh, and the different type of diamond paintings that you may encounter. So this was my very first ever diamond painting purchase. It's gorgeous. It's done by a, a specific artist, which at the time I didn't know that. i just seen the picture, liked it, thought I would order it. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure what the artist's name is. I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh, they've never listed it on there, the artist's name or what was going on with that. So, uh, with this one here, we do have a partial picture. Um, so this is partial drills, and drills means that these little things, the diamonds, are also called drills. Um, so a partial picture is going to have some printed background to it, and then it's going to be part diamond. Uh, this one was pretty generic janky to me. I mean, very, yeah, very boring, you know, and you really don't get much of a, a detail with the couple. I mean, what are they doing there? I kind of get the gist that maybe this is an umbrella. If not, it's a very awkward something, you know, haircut maybe. I don't know. So it just doesn't seem very pretty to me. Um, but that doesn't mean that it still can't be a usable picture. I want you to send me some comments, some suggestions uh, on how we can pizzazz this up. What can we do to make this picture pop even more? What can make it even better so it can be framed and hung on the wall with pride? Uh, so we go from this picture to the same one in the series. Uh, there's a whole bunch of these, I mean a whole bunch. Um, and this one's a little bit more drilled. Uh, I would say just about half of the picture. So again, you've got the printed side. Not much going on here. Uh, yeah, it, it, again, not very much until you get to this side. And it, it's nice. You get the gist. These are trees, and this is a rainy day scene. These are all rainy days, so that's why everything looks shiny. It, it's, it's all about that uh, reflection and about the rain and how it pops out those colors. So when you're looking at these up close and you're doing your drills, you, you don't, you just like, really? What is this? It's, it's just very clumpy. It's very, eh, you know, uh, like you're looking at the couple and you're like, yeah, what is this going on here? What's that? And is that a tail? You know, like what's going on here? You don't get very much until you look at the bigger picture and then you see, oh, hey, he doesn't have a tail. It's a foot. All right, makes sense. Um, although, I'm really not sure what's going on right here. Yeah, that's a little awkward. Uh, but still, I mean, these pictures can still become something. I mean, they're, they're already pretty to begin with. Let's uh, pizzazz them up. So throw those suggestions in the comments there. Uh, let's see what we can do to make these uh, pop even more. So, um, you know, if, if, if I do use your uh, comment, your suggestion in the... Uh, we make a tutorial on your comment and suggestion on how to make these pop. Uh, I might throw something your way. You know, say, hey, thanks for that great suggestion. So, go ahead. Throw them out there. Suggest. This is a full drill. This was uh, actually a two-parter. I bought these together. So, the last one that you just seen that was the partial drill, this uh, came with it. I think I paid about $12 for both. So, again, not bad for the price and for the size. And this one stands out a lot more. Full drills are just, ah, oh, they're so pretty. They're just so gorgeous. So, when you're doing them, though, you get that little clumpy coloring. See what I mean? Not very much going on there until you look at the bigger picture. And you're like, oh, hey, okay, I get it. It's a park bench. And it's rainy. And this is all wet down here and it's reflecting. Oh, purtiful. Yeah, I know. Not very much uh, when you're working on them, but it's nice. It's fulfilling to be able to complete this. Uh, this one here probably took me about yeah, three or four days. I just uh, sit on my couch, watch, you know, TV, bench watch on some series and kind of go to town on these little guys. I also work on them at work because I have that kind of a luxury. Um, so it, it's nice and relaxing. And that will also be part of my other tutorials on, you know, 
how do you uh, set up on your couch instead of having to have a table there? So I have a whole bunch of different tutorials to help people out who, like me, uh, were just kind of starting and really didn't know what was going on. You know, what to do, kind of winging it, and, and winging it doesn't always help, you know, when you're first starting. You just don't know what you're getting into. So hopefully these will be able to help you out in the long run, so that way you can make the most of your diamond paintings. Uh, again, if you have questions about diamond paintings or setups or anything in particular, please put it in the comments. That way we can make a video and if you have a question, I'm sure somebody else does as well. You know, isn't that what they say? So you might be helping somebody else out down the road as well. So thanks guys for everything that uh, you do to, to view my channels and comment and like and share you know, with everybody else, because diamond paintings, I mean, they're just so pretty. We don't want to keep these to ourselves, do we? So share the fun, guys. Share the videos. That way other people can find out about the joys and, and greatness of diamond paintings. Well, my neighbor is starting to mow his uh, daily mowing, and I tell you, it's, it drives me crazy sometimes. So have a great rest of your day. I am going to go and relax with some more diamond paintings because uh, I tell you that mower drives me crazy. But you know what? Don't let it get you down. Diamond paintings, they make you happy, right? That's all that matters in life. Be happy. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.